And America's Kim Zemeskal tumbled for gold in the floor exercise competition. Boganskaya has been dubbed the queen of gymnastics. After winning the all-around titles at the European and World Championships, she's looking for another golden victory. My favorite event is floor exercises. I'm best at it, and uh, it's one of my favorites. But Zemeskal is performing stronger than ever. Her robust routines and energetic style might win her the gold. I find that all in these games and the floor exercise and it'll mean a lot to me because this is a very major competition for me and the whole world's watching. <laughs> Can the young Zemeskal upset the dominant Boganskaya? Women's gymnastics continues. The United States' Kim Zemeskal is matched up against her teammate Betty Okino on the uneven bars. In the all-arounds at the 1990 U.S. Nationals, Okino won the silver. Can she win gold in her first international competition tonight? Zemeskal, America's 1990 national champion, is aiming for a victory as well. Who will take home the Goodwill gold? Watch tonight as we unite the world's best. Tonight's presentation of the Goodwill Games is brought to you by Diet Pepsi, who salutes the spirit of the 1990 Goodwill Games. Diet Pepsi, the right one. By Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers, the best hamburgers and a whole lot more. By Contact, relieves allergy symptoms for 12 full hours. And by your local cable system, proud sponsor of the 1990 Goodwill Games. Live in Seattle from our international broadcast center feeding the world, the anchor of the 1990 Goodwill Games, Larry King. Good evening, Sunday night, night 10 of a 17-night event, the Goodwill Games. Welcome to the 1990 edition. Tonight we wrap up our second weekend of coverage, two big events. We're heading out to the Seattle Center Coliseum, about a hop, skip, and a jump from here for the gold medal basketball game. The United States takes on Yugoslavia. It is also final night ladies gymnastics, the apparatus final. Now the Americans could win several medals, two big events. And because of that, my co-hosts are gonna be on the move. Nick Charles is here with me now, but zap, he's gone soon. Going over to men's basketball. That game starts about two hours. Hannah Storm, she's already out at women's gymnastics. So first let's hear from Nicholas, what's going to happen? Well, who knows? Back from the Tacoma Dome on women's gymnastics. Hannah? Larry, it is never a dull moment out here. Last night we had an injury that we somewhat questioned to the Soviet gymnast Tatiana Lysenko. Well, there's no question about the injury to an American gymnast tonight. It's Kim Zemeskal, and it will take her out of one of the apparatus finals tonight. I've just spoken with a Dr. Jack Jensen. He's the team doctor. Kim Zemeskal has aggravated tendinitis in her, in her left wrist. And we'll be talking with the doctor in just a minute to assess the seriousness of this injury. But Bella Caroli has told us he is taking Kim Zemeskal out of the vault. Now, he did acknowledge she was the first person on the apparatus. The scores build on that apparatus, so it is unlikely that she would have meddled in uh, that event. You saw Kim marching out tonight. Um, Kim Zemesco will still be on the floor, the beam, the bars, but this is a precautionary measure. They're worried about her wrist and the force of the wrist hitting the vaulting course. So again, uh, Kim Zemeskal is injured, uh, but she will still be eligible to win three gold medals. And you know, last night after she fell off the uneven bar, she hit all her routines. Larry, she was so dejected. She was so desolate. And although these little girls appear larger than life on our TV screen, they're still just little children. You want to wrap your arms around them and tell them that everything is going to be okay. But you can't do that. All you can do is sit back and admire them because they are champions. They are competitors. And Kim Zemeskal is one tough little kid. We'll be keeping you posted from the Tacoma Dome. Thanks, Hannah. It's going to be a great night. Can't wait to get back to it. We'll return to gymnastics in just a few minutes on a really big, big night of sports. First, a look at the numbers. Our man with the numbers. In fact, he's the numbers man. Nick, the medal count. Hey, the Soviets are coming. Have you noticed what a weekend it's been for them? Rhythmic gymnastics, women's gymnastics, and cycling. Cycling got underway, and the Soviets cleaning up. So the gold medal hall has vaulted them. In front, the United States a close second. They will duel head and head into this second and final week down the stretch. 
the Goodwill Games, Larry. Okay, Nick, and Nick heads over to be there. He'll be on top of the scene at basketball along with Ron and Rick Barry. Stay with us. Something for everybody tonight. Next, women's gymnastics. Don't go away. I'm Larry King with Hannah Storm and Nick Charles in Seattle at the 1990 Goodwill Games. We'll be right back. music under me before. Invigorating. A new kind of disc jockey. Welcome back. Day 10 of the 1990 Goodwill Games. Beauty and perfection. That's coming. To the Tacoma Dome for the final night of women's gymnastics. And my man on the scene, Jim Simpson. James? Larry, you should be out here. We have music behind us at all times. It is a big night. It is a final night of gymnastics. And it is for four apparatus, four golds, four silvers, four bronze. But Kathy Johnson, a great night, the silver team medal for the Americans on Friday, a disappointing last night. Hannah has talked about it. You have been with the American young ladies. How are they emotionally prepared, aside from Zemesco's injury, for tonight's competition? Well, first of all, I was back in the warm-up gym uh, prior to competition, and emotionally, they're very down. They're a little depressed about last night's performance, which really kind of bothers me, because I don't want to see that take away from what they did for the United States, winning the silver medal, and they did come back very strong after that fall with Kim Zemesco on the uneven bars. Physically, they're very tired as well. These athletes are not used to competing three days in a row, usually at major competitions. They alternate days of competition with the men. So it's, um, they are a little physically tired and a little emotionally down, but I'm hoping that they'll, they'll get up tonight. Capacity crowd here, better than 16,000. That should pump a little adrenaline, adrenaline, but let's find out what really is wrong with Kim Zemesco down to Hannah Storm. Thanks, Jim. I'm here with a Dr. Jack Jensen, the team doctor. Uh, Dr. Jensen, what is tendonitis? Quickly and simply, what is Kim suffering from? Kim has some inflammation in the top part of her wrist and it's uh, quite painful and that's what's preventing her from balding with that. What does it feel like? What's it going to feel like when she grabs on to that uneven parallel bar? Is it going to hurt a lot? Well, she hasn't as much trouble with that because mm -hmm. in the vault, your wrist has to come up so hard and there's so much impact on it that she is having a tremendous problem with the vaulting but seems to be able to do the uneven bars okay. Is this career threatening? We don't think so at this point, but uh, a good way to, for that to occur is to let her vault today and really hurt it. Thanks, Dr. Jensen. Jim? All right, Hannah. You're looking wide at the Tacoma Dome, our final night of gymnastics. Last night, Natalia Kalanina won the all-around title. And here she is her first event of the evening moments ago. And it is, of course, the vault. This is actually her routine during the all-around competition where she scored a perfect 10 double layout, the only 10 of the entire competition. I said it last night and I'll say it again, she was just exquisite. Beautiful attention to detail. had tremendous difficulty throughout the routine, including that middle tumbling run. It's a full twisting double back that she tumbles right out of. Well, they say show business is coming into gymnastics is a little bit of a clean enough. Just as they were the gymnasts to beat in the all-around and the team competition, they will definitely be the gymnasts to beat here in the event finals. Now that was a 10 last night that just wrapped up the all-around championship. Moments ago in the vault, her first performance of this evening. Well, I don't want to tip it off, but just take a look at this first vault. She performs a Yurchenko with a full twist and a perfect landing. 
very difficult to say things are perfect, but that landing was perfect. You can't do it any better than that. She got a 9.95 on this fall. It's just beautiful position. Technically very nicely done. And the all-important stuck landing. That was vault number one, 9.950, and in this apparatus finals, they will average the two vaults. They don't take the better of the two, they will average the two, and this was Natalia's second vault. Now, Natalia is capable of doing a double-twisting Yurchenko. She opted to only do the full twist for her first vault, and I believe she's doing a handspring front with a half twist for her second vault. Of course, the rule for the event finals involved they have to do two different vaults from two different categories. And then both vaults are averaged together so that they both count. This wasn't as good as her first vault, but it's definitely comparable to anything else in the competition. Which gave her a 9.887 and an average of 9.918. At that time, it put Kalina in the lead. But hold on, there's another Soviet in the competition, and she is outstanding. Look, the first week we were here, you could see it perfectly from the hotel window. Then and someone stole it, took it away. The haze moved in, but now it is clearing in the Tacoma area, and we're beginning to see Dr. Deere once again. Here's Oksana Chusevitna of the USSR, 15 years old, from Tashkent. And watch this vault her vaults of just moments ago. Handspring front pike with a half twist. A very nice landing, just a slight check for balance. She is the second Soviet in the vault. Logan Skaya, the world champion, is not competing in the vault. And Oksana is fairly new to the Soviet team. This is the first I've ever seen her compete. It's a front pike with a half twist. And as I said, all she had to do is check the balance on that landing. And that gave her a 9.950 equal to the first vault of Kalina. Soviets are so deep, and they've proven it here, as they've proven it everywhere else in the world. As I said earlier, they must perform two different vaults from two different families. So completely different vaults. Makes it much tougher to medal in this event. For those of you who fought, actively follow gymnastics in Salt Lake earlier this year in the Olympic Cup, Jusevitna was first in the all-around. Watch this. Sukahara with a full twist. Very nice position in the air. Great height from the horse. She's a very, very powerful gymnast. We're looking at the vaulting champion right there. That's a gold medal. A 9.975 on her second vault. So she averaged 9.962 for the two vaults. That is an excellent vault. Superior amplitude on this vault. Good form. Very nicely done. The first of the four apparatus finals is over. Chusevitna, the Soviet Union, gets the gold. Kalinina gets the silver. And Gojian of Romania, the only Romanian here, gets the bronze. Remember, Domesco was scratched from this event. Amy Scherer was the only American in this event. And Amy had a terrific first vault. Unfortunately, she put her hands down on that second vault. And naturally, since you have to count both vaults, that dropped her right out of the lead. 15-year-old Oksana Shuchovitna. And here is Amy Scherer and what happened to her. The only American competitor. 15 years old also out of Cincinnati. And the first range with Bella Caroli down in Houston. And she was a bronze medalist at the recent USA Championships on this event. Her first vault is a Yurchenko with a full twist in laid out position. It's just the round off entry. Problems with the landing. 
she did a terrific job for the United States during the team competition. She led off on every single event, which is a very, it's a very high pressure position for a young and fairly inexperienced gymnast. And Just a little Kathy too much said, juice. The second time around, she put her hands down. So the first of four apparatus is over, and the gold medal has been determined. Shusevitna of the Soviet Union.